Hello, my name is Aaron and welcome to Board Games, Bricks and Hobbies. This is another episode of Board Game Versus, a show where I take two games and make them fight. I'll talk about the similarities and differences, as well as which one I think comes out on top. Today we're taking a look at Dominion 1st Edition versus Dominion 2nd Edition? But wait, aren't these the same game? Anyway, let's go to the table and check it out. All right, so I'm going to do things a bit different in this one. I'm going to start with the differences and then I'll cover the similarities at the end. Uh, so the instruction booklets are largely the same. Uh, the new one has some updated kind of visuals uh, and turn sequence stuff. Uh, so definitely an improvement in my opinion, but still not the best rule book out there. Um, so uh, an improvement, but not significantly uh, different really. Uh, we have a trash card in the original uh, first edition and a mat in the second edition. So this is cardboard, uh, not super uh, sturdy or anything, but definitely a lot more functional than this tiny card was. This very quickly would just get buried by cards, uh, especially if in games with a lot of trashing. Uh, you also got updated cards. So these are the original cards. Uh, they're obviously pretty boring. Uh, and the updated ones are similar to the ones that were released later on in the uh, in a pack, uh, but the second edition just includes the new artwork, which is a significant upgrade and definitely still readable at a glance. Uh, so I definitely like that change a lot. Uh, but that those are changes that don't really affect the gameplay. Those are just stylistic. Uh, so next we have the different cards. So six cards were removed and seven cards were added. So let's take a look at those cards here. Uh, so the woodcutter, uh, just a pretty boring card, honestly, all around. The adventurer, uh, not super useful really and relatively expensive for what it did. The Chancellor, I gave you two and immediately discarded. Again, not super useful, and a lot of these I feel like also could essentially be traps for new players. Uh, while on the other side you have Harbinger, the Merchant, and the Poacher. These all give you plus one card, plus one action, and they also have an additional action on the bottom. Uh, so they're just a lot more versatile, and I, I like that there. Uh, so there's that. Um, and the Vassal is kind of similar. I tried to pair up cards that were similar, essentially. Uh, so uh, these both gave you plus two uh, for money, but uh, this one was a bit more useful as it lets you essentially play a free action if you have one on top of your deck. Now, the Feast let you trash a card to gain a card costing up to five, uh, but the card costs four, so really it's just kind of... Uh, a lot less useful than the artisan which costs six uh, but it just gain you gain a f five card to your hand and that is a lot more useful now the spy and the sentry uh, so the spy was actually an attack card and it affected other players the sentry is purely for you and it gives you a lot of options you can trash or discard things in your deck and i find this card really useful the last one is the thief now the Thief is four and on paper, it sounds a lot more powerful because each player reveals the top two cards of their deck. And if they reveal any treasures, they trash one of the ones that you choose and then you can gain those. So if all the players have a gold, you could essentially gain three golds from this. Now, in this one, you could just gain one gold and then everyone else has to trash a treasure other than copper. So on paper, it might sound like the Thief is more powerful. However, keep in mind that you have to trash with this one. So you could just end up discarding other players' coppers, and that might actually help them in the long run. And not to mention if you're playing in a two or three player game, it would be a lot less powerful than in a larger game. So the Bandit is definitely more consistent in providing income, uh, whereas the Thief uh, can be hit or miss and can potentially help others' players. So. Uh, there's that. Another thing to note is that uh, they also updated the pronouns on the cards. 
So the original first edition game just used his, and the uh, second edition uses their. So more inclusive there, um, just using the singular they. Uh, along with that, you also get a lot more uh, female presenting characters in the new artwork. Pretty much every card includes that. Uh, so definitely balances out the inclusivity. Um, again, this is a game based on essentially feudal uh, Europe. So say what you want about historical accuracy or whatever. Uh, it's a board game. And so I feel like just more diversity is never a bad thing. Uh, so that's it for the differences. Let's go over the similarities. All right, so we talked differences. Now let's talk similarities. So what do Dominion and also Dominion have in common? Well, they're basically the same game. They play the same way. Uh, none of the rules have changed, uh, just some of the cards. Um, and for that reason, I really think these should be the same entry on Board Game Geek. And that's a hill I'm going to die on, even though they probably will never change that. Uh, but anyway, uh, so which one do I think is better? Well, uh, Dominion is a great game regardless, and I think you'd be happy with either one. I, I wouldn't pass this one up at a thrift store just because it was the first edition. Uh, but the second edition definitely has some nice improvements, uh, including more inclusive pronouns uh, and better artwork, in my opinion. Uh, it also has larger text on some of the cards, uh, which I failed to mention earlier. Uh, so definitely some improvements uh, in that regard. But again, they're practically the same game, and you really can't go wrong with Dominion. It was one of the first deck builders, and I would argue still one of the best. Um, but anyway, uh, those are my thoughts on Dominion and also Dominion. Uh, so let me know yours in the comments, as well as if you think Board Game Geek has it wrong, and these are the same game. Um, I, I just want people to agree with me, I guess. Anyway, uh, I can't be the only one, right? So, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you again in another one. You've been watching Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies. Take care. Bye.